Nike. I bought my Toronto Police Association decal. <laughs> Isn't that great? You stick it on your car, and next time you get stopped, you go. <laughs> Not only that, but the Police Association gives you an identity card as well. So you hold out your license, the identity card, and a fifty-dollar bill, and bingo! And what are the police going to use the money for? To investigate city politicians who don't support the police. <laughs> now you ask, which Turkey thought this up and which South American country did he get it from? <laughs> His name is Craig Bromel, head of the Toronto Police Association. And he's realized that the police board, the senior police officers, and the Toronto City Council have a collective backbone that needs Viagra to keep it upright. <laughs> I hear the police association have stopped this form of fundraising. They now intend to change the name from Operation True Blue to Operation Screw You. <laughs> I'm talking to the police, Toronto's incoming police chief, Julian Fantino, won't commit to ride in the gay pride parade. He says he doesn't look good in a leather codpiece, high heels, studded collar, and a push-up bra. And anyway, he said he likes to keep that outfit for the police stag parties. <laughs> You want to hear my quote of the week from Tom Long, an Ontario conservative mover and groover. He said, trusting the liberals to deliver real tax cuts would be like shipping lettuce by rabbit. <laughs> a man has designed a tie clip in the shape of a wiggly tailed sperm to be worn by men who have undergone a vasectomy. <laughs> Can you imagine if every operation had its own tie clip? <laughs> Oh, hemorrhoids. <laughs> but this whole Unite the Right business, you've got to ask yourself if by some miracle, Preston Manning and Joe Clark did start working together, that is an improvement. <laughs> At their convention, 1,100 people cast 1,400 votes. <laughs> well, working on that principle, maybe they can win the next election. 